Hi, in this video, we're going to see how to define a matrix and then address different elements in the matrix. And also, we will show how to select an entire row or column in a matrix. So let's go back to MATLAB and define a matrix. So here I've already opened a new script and saved it. Now, the easiest way to define a matrix with integer values is to use a command called magic. So I'll just define a variable A as a matrix and use the magic command. Now, if I want to have a three by three matrix, I'll just put three here. If I want two by two, I'll put a two here. Okay, so if I just run it, then you can see it's a three by three matrix and I have different elements here. So this is the easiest way. I can also define it manually. So if I do it like this, if, if I want to do it manually, I can, I can put a bracket here. Let's put eight. So I'll just put this matrix here, eight, one, six, semicolon to represent the new line, three, five, seven, semicolon, four, nine, two. So this is my matrix. Now, in the next segment, we will see how to call different addresses of this matrix elements. Now let's see how can we do that addressing different elements. Okay, so let's say we want to have the ver uh, element I will just define a variable, let's say first, or let's define lm as my variable. Now I want, I will just define lm1 standard one to say I want the value first row, first column, which is eight here. So how do we do that? I'll just write the matrix name, a parenthesis, and then if we want the first row, first column element, I'll just put one comma one. So this is first row, first column element. And if I complete the parenthesis, run it. So this variable recalls this element, which is one comma one, and which is eight. So as you can see, the variable lm one underscore one has a value of eight. Similarly, if we want to define another one, let's say we want this position, which is the second row first element. So I will say lm. Uh, I can define different variables here, right? So I can define two underscore one, or I can even define lm here. It doesn't matter how we define this variable as long as we keep uh, calling this variable consistently. So if I want the second row, I'll put two, comma, the first element, so one. Um, and if I run it, it should give us the element uh, two, two underscore one, the variable should have three and so on. So I'll show another one. Let's say I want to call this one. This element is second row, but third element. So um, LM, second row, third element, right? So A, second comma, third element. So this, this variable should have the seven value. Okay, so just to clear the confusion, I, I can put a different name here. Let's say the variable is E. It doesn't matter what I put here. So if I put a different variable name, and if I run it, it still has the value seven assigned to this value E. So as long as we call the row and column positions, um, correctly, it will give us the exact same addressing. So that's how we can address individual elements of, of a matrix in MATLAB. Now we will see how to select a whole row or whole column of a matrix in MATLAB. So let's go here and let's say whole row or column using a colon operator. So we can use the um, colon operator to select a whole row or whole column. So let's define another variable, let's say a um, or um, a b, yeah, and then equals. Now 
let's select the matrix A, which is the big A. And let's say this, uh, we want to select a column. Okay, so to select that, um, our first row, to do that, we'll put the colon in the row position that signifies the whole row, comma, one. So if I do that and run it, the AB value should have 834, which is the first column. So if I put colon, comma, one, meaning the entire column, entire first column should be copied and assigned to this variable AB. Now, if I just say um, AB two and do this same thing comma now if i put two here it should select the second column which is 159 and put it to a b2 variable so if i do that i can see 159 has been assigned this one to this so that is how um, if i put a three here it should select the third column and so on so that's uh, that's the way to select the whole column now, similarly, we can do a row two. Let's say uh, BA is our um, row. So we'll do one first. And then in the second position, we'll put the colon. Now we will select the first row of this matrix, which is 816. And if I run it, the BA variable should have 816. Now, if I just do that, um, BA2, A, two comma colon so it means the second row put the copy the second row and put it in b b a two value um if we do that and you can see that so if we want to select the third one we'll put three so that is how we can select different elements or different rows and columns in matlab so using this colon operator we can select the entire row and our entire column so we have learned how to address different elements and then how to address a whole single row or column in MATLAB. That is, for, that is uh, all for now. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.